योग कर्मसु कौशल नमस्कार ग्रीटिंग्स टू वन एंड ऑल आई डॉक्टर जिग्नेश पटेल एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर चिल्ड्रंस यूनिवर्सिटी गांधीनगर थैंक यूजीसी ह्यूमन रिसोर्स डेवलपमेंट सेंटर ऑफ गुजरात यूनिवर्सिटी फॉर गिविंग मी एन ऑपरचुनिटी टू कनेक्ट विथ यू ऑन दिस ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म एंड आई ऑल्सो थैंक टू प्रोफेसर जगदीश जोशी professor and director of uh, ugc hrdc for giving me an uh, opportunity to deliver my session on value education role of family society media ict and educational institution in inculcating human values here i would also like to say something about hrdc gujarat university because it is a uh, hrdc which is ranked ranked as 15th in india and number 1 in gujarat it is pioneer and created history on uh, different aspects even this is a first of its kinds online refresher course in india in year 18 uh, 19 and about more than 2500 participants have attended this uh, program even hrdc ahmedabad has also in, uh, started uh, arpit course on english language teaching and that is uh, that was a re record break participants uh, more than 9000 participants have uh, participated participated in uh, this arpit course and most of the uh, participants are very uh, much happy with this kind of programs which is launched by gujarat university hrdc even at this juncture i also want to uh, say that hrdc ahmedabad is always innovative in its all program this this program is this 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 program is also one of the innovative program where uh, the participants uh, participant has given a chance an opportunity to view the uh, view the recorded video uh, at their own time so again and again i can say that uh, it has a wonderful hrdc uh, it has mous with a number of different university and the director of hrdc professor jagdish joshi is a dynamic person he has traveled uh, across the countries and even the international uh, mous has been done by this hrdc it provides a consultancy to different universities different organization as well and uh this is the hrdc who has started even the phd course work for number of university as well so in a way always active and innovative hrdc we can say that uh, this uh, for this hrdc so thank you again all the staff members of hrdc gujarat university uh, for giving me an opportunity to deliver this my lecture so now we will start over uh, the lectures so the topic is value education role of family society media ict and educational institution in inculcating human values now question arises what is value the word value is derived from latin word valere meaning to strong or vital that means it is a very important thing for each and every person or every individual so we can say that to be value is an have certain virtue virtue that means uh, it might be a good qualities of anyone so value is very uh, helpful or very essential part of each and every individual our value judgment are expressed through sentences like she is a good person he is an honest man it is beautiful sunset we should respect elders we should never speak lie we, he is very kind person business dealing should be fair so this kind of statement we are using nowadays again and again so uh, everyone has this kind of uh, uh, thoughts in their own mind regarding their own value value judgments 
Let's see one video on value of love, kindness, helping elders, helping poor, love for animals, etc. We can see. So enjoy this video and just thought about this video that how we are living in this world. And nowadays we are facing number of problems of value erosion as well. At that time, how a person and how a poor person, uh, the person is not a very rich person. You can see later on we will discuss about these things. Helping that old lady. This is love for animal. You can see this person is denying. This person is also denying. Helping elders. Love for nature. This girl is demanding for education. We are missing this kind of values. He gets nothing. You can see he is not a poor, rich person. Happiness. With the help of this man, the girl is now entered in a school education. He received emotions. Now this person's emotions change. You can see the happiness. Love for animals. You remember the hugging of Munna by MBBS. Now girl, the dog is helping. The plant is live. So we can see with this video that uh, number of uh, values we can observe with this help uh, with the with this video value some of the definition of value values are something that we consider good such as love kindness quietness contentment fun honesty decency relation and simplicity and so on number of values are there so out of this video uh, from this video we can see that we can see the love kindness contentment the person has very less money still he is giving something uh, from his part as well so this is the value socially approved Mukherjee said that the socially approved desire and goal which becomes subjective preference the subjective preference is very important word here so we, uh, the, the person who is selling the meat or the person who is uh, uh, on the saw, they are not, uh, their preference is a little bit different. The, the boy who is helping others, the, his preference is different. So they are denying that, that the young fellow is doing wrong work, but at the end, they also 
uh, feel that this is a very essential work, helping others, helping elders, helping for education. All these things are very much help, uh, very much needed. So uh, the subjective preference, we can we can say that it is a value, satisfaction of human wants. What what if, what what you are uh, expecting to, from the human. So if you are satisfied with some work, if you are helping someone's at uh, in this pandemic, number of organizations come out and helping to others, those who are uh, uh, in need of money, in need of uh, food, in need of shelter, in need of uh, anything. So number of organizations comes and uh, provided help to the others. So this is a, again, we can say that a social characteristic as well. Even we can say that value is a social belief or any idea or ideal, or it is a norm, it is a rules that we have to follow. Some of the values we have to follow uh, because our India, our Bharat, Bharat is known for value and our Sanskriti. That's why people come from uh, entire India, uh, entire, from entire world into India. Even those NRIs who are uh, living in different countries, uh, other countries, they also put their children uh, in India for their education. We have Panchgadi, Panchmadi, uh, Mount Abu, uh, number of places we have where the schools are there and the people who are not living in India, those who are NRIs are putting their children in India for their education, for the culture, for the values, because they want to inculcate the values uh, in uh, their child. So let's start with simple question. Why value education is part of our curriculum or education? Objectives or value education will provide the answer to these questions. So the again thinking why value education, why it is needed? Because nowadays we can see that number of incidents taking place in a society, which, uh, which shows that now the values erosion is very, uh, the process of value erosion is very fast. That's why again, the new policy as well, the national education policy 2020 as well, put focus on skill, values, everything. So what are the objectives of value education? To add students in making correct choices or decision, to inspire them to choose their own personal, social, moral and spiritual values, to create awareness on practical methods that lead to personal and societal developments. That's why we can say that Value education promotes analyzing capacity, responding to the questions on values and its implication on, on life, demand, thinking and reflection, enhance writings without fluency and accuracy in writing. The test could not be the completed, it might be possible. So the next question arises, why do we need value education? The need of value education, we want Two, that Swami Vivekananda says that we want to education by which character is formed. Strength of mind is increased and the intellect is expanded and by which one can stand on one's own feet. Uh, just few uh, means uh, just uh, our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi also focusing these ideas of Swami Vivekananda. That's why we have a mission Atmanirbhar Bharat and the Atmanirbhar Bharat, it's even startup. All this concept comes in the mind of Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi sir, because he believes in the theories of Swami Vivekananda. He says that we have to form the characters. We have to inculcate the values in the students. We have to make them with strong mind that uh, if a uh, number of psychological issues comes out uh, nowadays. So if the person has a strong mind, he has a faith in a, his own work, everything is there, then, then, then and then only the, the strong mind can take the decision. Expand the intellect, whatever the thoughts process are there, intellectual process is going on in the mind of person, we have to expand that. We have to give them create, creative task. Uh, critical thinking task, problem solving task, then and then only they can expand their intellect by which uh, one can stand on its own feet so that 
if we are expanding the intellect, increasing strength of the mind, and we are in process of character building, then and then only one can stand on its own uh, feet. So in this way, value education is very much important in uh, education and in the society as well. So value education help to learn about the value because we are imparting value and ed uh, education together in our uh, education system. So it helps to learn about the values, to realize the importance of values, how the values are important, what are the values, all these things uh, are very much important and to make start uh, starting points. From there, they can start, th they can change their path of life, they can change the thought of their minds, everything will happen. So to make the starting point as well. Now, again, the new question arises. What are the values? Why do we need values? What are the values and why do we need values? So we can say that what are the values? The values are the set of principles or standard of behavior. Values help to achieve an amicable relationship with others and a life without proper values become chaotic or disaster. So this is the, these are the importance of values as well. We can say that. Now you can see the sources of value, how and where from where we get these values. So first of all, self person get something from inside only. So self is the prime source of value. Another is others. That means relatives, our parents, teachers, friends, peers, elders, or bypasser. Anyone, anyone means if we are in touch with any person, then sometimes their actions, their words, their uh, behaviors teach us a lot of things. From that only, we can get some values as well. So all the persons with whom we are interacting, we are living, they are the source of value. They can teach us. Sometimes uh, our teachers means we are following our teachers. We are some of the students are following their parents. Some of the teachers are following their friends' behaviors and even the peers as well. So uh, these are the sources of value from where we get uh, different sources. Another thing is organization. So now the question arises, how the organization? So we are working somewhere. If we are, if I'm working in a particular uh, institution and then they have their own rules, their own tradition, their own rituals, how they have, we have to follow. So these are the organization also uh, teach us uh, some values which we have to follow. Next one is, written materials. So I think uh, this is a passive form, but it is a very important form because nowadays we are reading number of things. We are reading WhatsApp, we are reading Facebook, we are reading newspaper, we are reading magazines, we are reading storybooks, we are reading Panchatantra's books. So number of things we are reading. So reading, reading material, material also teaches us uh, what are the values. What, what, how we have to live, how we have to behave. All these things are uh, comes from written material as well. So we get some values from re, uh, written material as well. Nowadays, we are reading uh, newspaper as well. So from newspaper also, some good incidents, uh, incidents they come across. Uh, some people are helping. The, nowadays, the situation is COVID-19, pandemic situation is there. Still, the people are doing or helping one another. Number of uh, NGOs are come out to help the needy people. So all these news we got from newspaper. Uh, newspaper is not coming in a physical form in some of the areas. So we get the soft copy of the newspaper on WhatsApp or uh, on our mail as well. So by reading different, different mails, or uh, watching televisions everywhere, we get this kind of values from this written material as well. Another thing is traditional customs. Man is a social animal and we are living in society. So when we are living in a society, we, the society is following some traditions, some rituals, some rules, everything we are following. So 
from tradition as well we got some values uh, just we are living in an urban area but uh, while you are observing uh, to a traditional rural image uh, rural people then definitely you will get some idea regarding uh, the traditions they are following when any festivals are coming any uh, death happens or any birth of uh, uh, new born child is happened at that time they are following some rituals some traditions so all these traditions teach us something and those are the values for uh, our life even the same way talking about the tradition we are tra uh, getting tradition from our family or our society so society have their own uh, rules and regulations which the person has to follow and those are the laid by the elderly peoples or the uh, or our uh, fourth fathers so that for uh, that rules or regulations we are following that is the source of value for us as well nation each and every nation has their own values uh, traditions our india is known for our values because number of peoples are coming here to uh, see the tradition or see the sanskruti of bharat so this sanskruti what is sanskruti sanskruti is finally our values our traditions so each and every nation has their own values or uh, on by on which uh, the nation is running so nation is the same. last one is religions so each and every religion has their own uh, rules and regulation so from religion as well we get some values um, each and every religion taught their followers to do like this uh, do particular task of work or do but behave in a particular manner so all these are the values and the from religion as well we got uh, some values now the question arises types of value how many types of values are there so there are five types of values personal values are there social values are there uh, professional values are there then moral and spiritual values is there and behavior values are there now one by one we will discuss little bit about the personal values what are the personal values so personal values are the values that are desired and uh, cherished by individuals some of the personal values are uh, depicted in the table uh, add for uh, success that is ambitions determinations self assessment and self confidence these are the values a uh, person has each and every person has each and every person has their own ambitions they wants to become something they wants to achieve something they have for getting that ambition they have determination no i have to work hard i have to do this work for getting this uh, this many uh, success so ambition and determine are uh, jointly uh, joined together in the same way person uh, has to analyze himself or herself for success that is self assessment and self confidence that is again important for success if you are not confident enough then you might not get success so self confidence is also required and self assessment is also required in the same way for peaceful living life person has some values that is honesty is there if you are honest if then then i don't think sir you, you have a fear if you are doing all the things in a right way then uh, you are living a peaceful life because no worries are behind you but if you are doing uh, unhonest work or dishonest work then that might be you are not peaceful at the night you can't sleep because some terror some stress is behind you in the same way courtesy if you have courtesy with anybody else then you are feeling a little bit relaxed in the same same way humility and simplicity is also the measures for peaceful life and last one is very important that is forgiveness if you if you believe in a forgiveness then definitely you are uh, in a very peaceful mind peaceful mind in the uh, the last one is add for happiness how the happiness will a uh, uh, person will get that is first one is contentment if you are content uh, with some of the your goal then definitely you are happy man but if the desire for uh, money or if desire for getting number of things together then definitely you are not happy with what you have 
you have got in the same way self discipline is also very much uh, important for getting happiness in the same way sympathy empathy and compensation this is also very much important if you have a sympathy with some someone else or empathy with someone else then definitely you feel that you are a very helpful person to anybody else and the same way the another person is also uh, feeling uh, relaxed with you so that gives you a happiness and gratitude is finally very much important in all this process then social values uh, are always very much important uh, and practice in relation to honor uh, in neighborhood community society and and the world as well society uh, means a people having people having started customs laws and organization unity of society are individual family and communities so some of the best social values are social uh, consciousness you if you are aware with the society and uh, the people's equity equality and brotherhood you have to follow this equal equality and brotherhood then uh, dialogue between the peoples uh, tolerance cooperation freedom repentance and magnanimity sharing and responsibility all these things are very much helpful uh, to to remain in a society and to cope up with the social values <coughs> as well sorry then moral and spiritual values this is related to a person innate ability to share help to be good and to be detached with one another it is relieve self control self purification and inner quality as well so all these things are very much important for moral or spiritual values as well again helping to someone uh, uh, in in a pleasure or pain so number of people have their moral values that they are helping to needy people poor people uh, hungry people so all these are the related to the moral or spiritual values to be same to a friend whatever you are feeling you are feeling the same thing to your friend as well to be same whether respected or despised so whether you are you get the respect or not you are same with the others as well and to do a work without thinking of its fruit our gita is said that you can do your work without uh, you the without uh, obtaining a yuba without uh, much of the thoughts about the fruit so uh, to do work without thinking of its fruit so this is all related to the spiritual value as well promote faith you have a faith in your organization you have a faith in your family you have a faith in a society you have faith in uh, organization where you are working in your boss in your friends so promote faith is also a spiritual value so nowadays all these things means the faith respect everything is we are uh, we are watching in a society or through uh, news or newspapers that this all things are missing nowadays that's why uh, the topic value education is very much important for uh, our each and every one some of the moral values or spiritual values are that detachment you have to detach with the society you have to detach with oneself you have to faith you have a faith loyalty uh, non violence uh, obedience all these are the uh, uh, moral or spiritual value and apart from them prayer purity then renunciation and truthfulness are the uh, moral values now talking about the behavior values which are the good manners that are needed to make our life successful or joyful so there are two types of behavior values individual values and group values Individ individual values are values practiced by an individual for his own benefits when the person is uh, following uh, so doing some task then that is benefited for his own benefit that is value practiced by an individual for his own benefits but some of the values are that 
which are practiced collectively by a group of people for the benefit of the society for if you are working in a group and that is for the benefit of society then those values are group values these are the list of uh, individual values and group values so good manners at home and outside understanding the role of religions faith, faith truthfulness patriotism tolerance non violence all these are the individual values in the same way the group values are understanding the commonness of the religions here you are understanding the role of religions here in a group you have to understand the commonness of religions what are the common things in different religions you have to respect the other religion as well so understanding the commonness of religion respect for others faith unity in a diversity so respect for others faith what others are thinking uh, what the others are following all these things uh, we have to follow in the same way unity in diversity you are living in a society there are different persons different uh, communities are living so you have to live with them and the diversity you have to respect you have to follow the diversity rules and uh, you have to give the respect to the other people as well so another thing is common aim uh, while you are working in a group the uh, group has their own uh, aim and you have to uh, follow the uh, the common aim at that time never think about the personal goal or personal aim in a group you have to follow the common aim united efforts towards the peace and that is here in a personal value tolerance patriotism and non violence is there but united effort towards the peace has to be followed for group uh, in a group values now what is value inculcation we are talking about the role of family society uh, educational institution media ict in a value inculcation but what is the value inculcation fixing up the values in a mind is value inculcation so the definition is fixing up the values in a mind that is value inculcation we are inculcating value with different organization that is family society uh, media educational institution but there are different approaches of value education so first one is direct approach direct approach is inculcating through the curriculum or classroom instruction that is directly now textbooks is also framed uh, with uh, well, uh, how to means while textbook writers are also focusing how the value can be teach through the curriculum what are the teachers role in uh, inculcating the values all these things are there and this value inculcation is uh, inculcated through the curriculums so curriculum in a frame curriculum is framed in such a way that different values can be inculcated by the uh, classroom instruction or by the teachers this is the first thing first approach second approach is indirect approach that is inculcation through plays movies stories or incidents that is indirect approach we can say that education has three different uh, formulas formal education non formal education and informal education in first approach direct approach we are talking about the formal education but in indirect approach we have two different education formulas that is non formal education and informal education so inculcating values through play movies stories incidents or any other way uh, that is radio is there uh, facebook is there number of social media platforms are there so all these are the indirect approach by which we are following we are inculcating values to the uh, students or a person just take the example of mahatma gandhi inculcated truthfulness by watching harish chandra's katha okay so by reading or by watching harish chandra's katha so mahatma gandhi our father of nation uh, take the in, uh, take this value inculcation through the uh, harish chandra's katha uh, so we have <coughs> sorry we have different approaches the second approach is very important because everything is not possible through classroom teachings in family as well in society as well 
we are inculcating values even uh, some of the film directors or uh, uh, we can stage uh, stage plays are giving us uh, some of the moral values or uh, uh, personal value as well so movies are there plays are there which taught us lot of values even uh, from very ancient time we have a stories of panch tantras which the grandfathers and grandmothers are telling to the newborn uh, child uh, or in a newborn in the sense uh, those child are 3 4 5 years child children are there so stories are there through stories we can also inculcate values by uh, by telling different incidents that is positive and negative both uh, both kind of incidents are there in a society so by describing this kind of uh, incidents also we can inculcate the values each and every incidents uh, last third one is incidental approach uh, each and every incidents have positive and negative uh, uh, ne positive and negative uh, uh, factors so we have to teach the students in such a way that they forget the negative part of that incidents and take the positive things that is good value they can get from that incidents uh, so last third one is incidental approach is the most effective approach a person inculcate certain values three through his or her life uh, real life experiences uh, for example a students becoming a punctual after missing an exam due to the late late coming in a exam so we have num number of incidents if you are late uh, in, in a first in a exam and you got um, one less mark in examination you might got uh, you might it might be possible that you you miss the admission in next course so at that time student realize that if i will not i, I was not late in examination definitely uh, i got one or two marks more and i got the admission in a particular course so uh, inculcation of value happens incidentally we can say that there are number of uh, incidents in a person's life and from life life experiences person um, teach something and they get uh, particular values as well so process of in, uh, value inculcation we can say that step 1 being sensitive a person should be sensitive enough to react particular situation uh, steps 2 identifying the appropriate value what values are there person is looking everywhere he, he is encountering number of incidents during his life uh, in situ different situation from that the person identify proper values uh, from that incidents third step is internalizing that values fixing up values deep in a mind so that i have to do this kind of work or i don't want to do this kind of work that is fixing up values deep in a mind so in future incidences in future situation in future encounter he might not not do uh, the particular task which he internalize internalize in his mind so last one is practicing the values toughest part of the process so sometimes mind is in dilemma fixing up values in deep mind that is correct but sometimes person while doing the particular work in a actual situation at that time person might not be sure at that time dilemma is going on and that is the toughest uh, toughest part of the process that is practicing value so uh some of the uh, what we can say that prolobans are there so that that might uh, disturb the mind of the person so this is the process of value inculcation now we can see the different approaches to value education which are given by supreka 1976 there are totally total eight different approaches to value education first one is evocational approach where the students are encountered to make spontaneous free and raw non rational choice without thought or hesitation that is first one is evocational approach where the students are free and without giving any thought they can select 
particular values or action uh, without thought or without hesitation that is evocational approach you can just observe the picture the ch children are asking for food because they are it pro uh, they are hungry we can see that it provides an environment which allows maximum freedom for students and provide provocative situation for which spontaneous reaction are elicited uh, just take the example the real the reaction of uh, reaction of picture of starving children so you can see that where there is no thought they are hungry and they want food that's why without without thinking anything they just raise their hand for food so this is the proactive uh, pro pro situation where the students spontaneously reacted to their desire or their need second one is inculcation approach students are forced to act according to the specific desired values here the force is there the teachers or the elder person are forcing students or children to do specific type of work the positive and negative reinforcement by the teachers help well value inculcation if the students are uh, doing a wrong way wrong thing then students uh, teachers has to reinforce uh, give the reinforcement in a negative sense and if the students are doing a perfect way uh, in a good way then the positive reinforcement might be given by the teachers this can be done by the teachers natural action and responses so teachers are definitely connected with the students so whenever the situation arises uh, you just uh, see the pictures as well bad or if the bad thing is there then that might be scolded the, the student might be scolded and if they are doing a, doing a good things then the appreciation should, uh, appreciation or the praise should be given by the teachers this is inculcation approach third one is awareness approach so this approach helps students to become aware and identify their own values the students are encouraged to share their experiences as well so passing on the messages that is awareness if any good thing is happened in a school or in a society in a family then definitely the good things should be uh, spread out that can be uh, tell to others share to others uh, so that the another person might also be uh, get in interested in that or uh, feel that i also wants to do this kind of things so this approach is awareness approach where the person are um, uh, getting aware by the different different uh, approaches the teacher presents value laden situation or dilemma through reading films uh, role playing small group discussion and simulation and what is the role the students thus engage themselves in process of making inferences about the values from the thoughts feelings belief and behavior of themselves and others as well so what is the role here of the teacher teacher has to give them a task that is short film is there any written paragraph might be there any story is there any narrative is there so as a teacher uh, uh, the role of teacher here is to give them a task discussion or simulation might be given there or a role playing might be there and afterwards the student role is that they have to uh, they have to discuss the good and bad points of that incidents or a film or a role uh, or a simulation and after that thing after that discussion they have to internalize uh, some of the good values in themselves so they in this process the in this process student uh, is aware with the good values uh, which are uh, shown in that particular incidents third one is another one is moral reasoning approach through placing themselves in a role and experiencing the process of deciding students can begin to see moral decision in a larger framework than their single point of view here the students are placing their placing in a particular role just take the uh, picture uh, see the pictures uh, the person is asking to cat how would you like it 
if the mouse did to you so here the story is of rat and uh, cat but the person is asking if the uh, if you uh, as a cat if mouse did something to you then how would you feel in the same way the students are placed in such an experience where they have to take the decision in a larger framework not from particular particular way it consists of students discussing a dilemma and by reasoning they attain a higher level of thinking or knowledge we can say that so student are uh, in a dilemma what to do so and after that uh, process is completed the teacher's role is again very much important he has to ask why you have taken this decision what are the reason uh, for taking this kind of decision so in this way this is a moral approach where we can inculcate values by uh, moral reasoning another approach is analysis approach the group or individuals are encouraged to study social value problems they are asked to clarify value questions and identify values in conflict as well they are encouraged to determine the truth and evidence of uh, purported facts and arrive at value decision applying analogous cases inferring and testing value principle underlying the decision so in this approach person or individuals are encouraged to study the social value problems what are the problems are there in a society afterwards they have to uh, give a thought on that and they have to analyze it and analyze the whole case or whole the story uh, of particular uh, problems and afterwards they have to infer something from that approach that is an analysis approach another approach is value clarification approach it helps students to use both rational thinking and emotional awareness to examine personal behavior behavioral patterns and classify and actualize actualizing the values this approach has been detailed by ruth 1966 simon 1970 where the child is made to jot down the analysis self analysis reactions worksheet so worksheet is given you can see in the picture worksheet is given child has to react on this worksheet consisting of drawing questions and activities different activities are given so that is value clarification approach another approach is commitment approach it enables students to perceive themselves not merely a passive reactor reactors or as a free individual but as inner relative members of society group and system that is commitment you are committed to someone uh, that is and you are uh, inner relative of the members so that is goal con uh, con commitment or inspired to commit or inspired to do something in such a way that he is not feeling that i am uh, outsider i am the member of inner uh, inner family or social group the last approach is union approach the purpose is to help the students to perceive themselves and act not separate egos but as a part of larger interrelated whole uh, the human race the world or a cosmos so here union approach is that all are united person never thinks that i am uh, alone i means uh, he never think about the self but here whole human race or world or cosmos is in a focus and students perceive something from the larger community so for the, for the larger community that is a union approach today i will talk about role of family society and educational institution in inculcating human values last time we have to talk about approaches the concept of uh, uh, values and how human values or values can be inculcated uh, through uh, different different techniques now today we will see three different concept 
First one is role of family in educational uh, value inculcation. So what is the role? Family is a place where the person is most comfortable. We can say that and most relaxed, most algorithmous, most secure, most unpretendable uh, and in his most natural forms. So family is the place where the person or the students or whatever the per, uh, concern person is there, he feels a little bit relaxed. And, and this is the place where we can inculcate some values. This is only place where he can be all be for all himself. And we know that anything that is learned in relaxed state is always based in heritage. So this is the place where um, inculcation process will be done very smoothly. Therefore, family plays an important role in teaching values to an individual and individual learn most effortlessly all these values almost unknowingly from family. Even few years back, we had observed a radical downfall in attitudes of moral attitudes and moral of youth, especially in the Western countries. And one of the major reasons for such decline was the general family structure in those countries. So again, here we can say that family is a prime institution where we can uh, uh, inculcate the value. The instability in family had started running the entire social system. The approach towards life was become more and more individualistic. People are self uh, self centric and they are thinking about own self. So crime rate has remarkably raised and a lot of detroition in the social values and uh, system was noticed. Deep analysis of ongoing fact made them realize that the basic reason for this decline was the lack of stability in family structure. The youth brought up in such broken families system were have insecure and unstable mindset and hence were unable to cope up with the social and professional challenges because they didn't give love, affection, the shelter, didn't get anything because they are separated. Even after the age of 18, they are separated from their families. Mother and father are living in a different house and children are uh, means those the teenagers are living their own age. That's why to cope up with the social challenges, uh, professional challenges, they are dealt uh, with crime uh, and other uh, those kind of work. We can discuss one more example from our set up to just try to focus on the fact that our school colleges as well as in the professional institution everywhere curriculum wise equal importance and opportunities are provided to all the candidates for making a good character impressive personality and flourishing the futures but what happened just still there is a huge difference in the abilities of the students to grasp the things in a uniform manner and take advantage of available exposures this prove again every uh, very clearly that the capacities of different people are different and therefore everyone takes up the opportunity as their own limits as a result everyone bud ups, buds up with the different personalities because the atmosphere at home is a little bit different because in school or colleges each and every students have given the equal treatment but the family or the societal atmosphere plays an important role. So we can say that obviously difference comes from the basic level upbringing of the individual which take place at home and then naturally there is a huge impact of family in learning, developing and practicing the values. Because in home there are a number of persons together and uh, grandfather is there, grandmother is there, my uncle is there, uh, aunt is there, mother, father, brother, sister, siblings, number of peoples are there and from them they get some of the values. So we can effectively conclude that just because people brought up in a different families have different values and different outlooks, hence their ability to develop are also different. Therefore, family backgrounds plays a very important role in developing values. Now we will talk a little bit about general values and uh, those, uh, those are, uh, should be inculcated in individual by the family. So first one is mode of interaction, how the interaction take place. 
the family is the first place where the child gets exposed to after uh, coming to the world hence immediately family members are the first person with whom he interacts because up till the age of 3 or 5 before starting going to the senior kg junior kg or play groups or anganwadis they are living and brought up in a family and number of people in living in a family are the uh, persons whom uh, he is interacting he learn almost every mode of interaction in the family the mannerism of the communication and coordination with the significant re relation immediate family members like mom dad brother sister grandparents etc that with the general uh, secondary relation those are the relatives other than the close relationship like maternal uncle maternal aunt parent uh, aunt uncles cousins etc and with the routine acquaintances like maids and other workers are learned in the family itself the differences in relations and the level of openness relevant with the every relation etc are totally learned by the observation and experiences with the families actually speaking all this leads in a in a future towards tendency to uh tendency of believing or not believing in a people which again an important part of personality in short we can say that the confidence about the believing people comes originally from the way one has brought up in his family so uh, believing in people uh, putting faith uh, kindness towards the another persons everything all these things comes uh, from the family structure second point is the sense of gender sensitivity sensitivity the general sense of behavior with males and female is at the first learned from the family from the family members itself the way family females of the family treat men and boys and also the way in which they respond uh, and vice versa that is the way men and boys at home treat women and girl has a huge impact on the mind of individual we can say this impact persistently existence exist for long life long and can be affected their behavior with opposite gender in every situation throughout the life the third point is value to be create careful value to be careful while communicating managing response mode of communication language and identification and selection of correct words while using them are again the practice implemented in the personality of person in his childhood itself when the individual is totally innocent and with the with his family so we can say that uh, sometimes in uh, in gujarati language we can say that chhodne vaado tem vade just like a, a small plant is there you just give them treatment according that uh, the plant will be grown up the in the same way if we are giving a good treatment or communicating uh, with the child in a proper manner or the practices implemented in the family is good then definitely the child brought up with a good value structures fourth point is democratic decision making valuing everyone's opinion is an important aspect of dramatic uh, democratic attitude usually decision made in a families are keeping in a view the interest of all family members therefore democratic decision making skill is incorporated in every age in early age by the family itself in every individual because uh, family most of the families in indian structure we are living in a joint family nowadays the situation is uh, going a little bit changed and that's why number of problems are increased uh, nowadays so uh, this is again very very important uh, Uh, structure for everyone that we are living in a, a single family or a joint family if we are living in a single family then there might be definitely uh, some of the issues we have been uh, come with the value inculcation because uh, just uh, take example of children's university narendra modi uh, honorable vice uh, honorable prime minister of uh, Uh, india says about children's university that this is the university where the value or the what whatever the 
uh, what whatever we want to inculcate in our child that will get from the family and nowadays family institution are bro broken up and people are not believing in living in joint family and that's why uh, the value inculcation process is now uh, in a uh, very uh, we can say that it's uh, in a difficult way so this kind of university will inculcate the values to the children and they, they find out the different traditional ways to inculcating values as well. Fifth point is sensitivity towards the surrounding and the manner of response. Alertness and vigilance towards the surrounding and the changes taking place in it is also an important part of development of a person. Reaction and responses to the everyday event is again learned from home. In fact, the entire uh, emotional question development of a person takes place within the immediate family itself. Because we are living in a family, we, are, we have to encounter number of problems, number of situations in family. And from them, uh, from those experiences only, we can create uh, an emotional quotient. So we, we have to see the birth of child, death of uh, elder person or anyone. So these kind of things or any uh, unwanted uh, situations comes in a family at that time, uh, emotional balance should be maintained by the each and every family member. So this sensitivity uh, is developed through the family only existment. Adapt adapting the neighboring and the ongoing changes, remaining flexible or stubborn towards uh, them is also learned by every individual in childhood. That is when he spent maximum time with his family. So he, he might be exist, exist with number of things. But those children who are not living in a joint family, they might have problems of adjustment as well. We can see in a day-to-day -day life, those who are living in a joint family, in a larger family, they have good adjustment uh, skills. Seventh is values, valuing others. Regards towards well, uh, rules and regulation, respect towards the nation, respect towards the state, respect towards the law, and also towards other individuals are deeply observed and learned from the family members only. Additionally, we can also say that discriminatory behavior and the practice on the basis of religion, re language, re uh, region uh, are also understood at the family level at first. Even the awareness about the superstitions and superstitions practice are, also, are firstly experienced in the family as well. Next one is financial management. This is again an important aspect of family education. The way of adjusting with the available financial and planning, uh, the savings for the future, etc., are learned with the immediate family member itself. It is very simple because we are living in a family and family has their own income sources and they have to expense according to the in, uh, income sources. Attitude towards the life, the general outlook about how to take life and the uh, likes and dislikes, even whether to value the resources of earning or to value the end, of, uh, end use of it, all depends upon the basic observation uh, done originally at the family level. Now, uh, last one is devotion towards the commitments. The mannerism of setting pr uh, priorities at work in the relation and also towards the promises made uh, are all in indoctrinate uh, in our attitudes and minds from our very childhood. These are not tailored purposely, but actually what we observe our elders practicing most of the times either knowingly or unknowingly uh, is what we also inherited in our practice some other values are self-discipline positive thinking optimism respecting others courage honesty and kindness tolerance and uh, patience, dedication sincerity uh, these are the other values which we have to inculcate Actually, most of the qualities uh, that lead to regulation of mind uh, of individual are basic developed with the near and dear ones. The 
conscious and unconscious mind of individual gets maximum affected during the early age itself and in this age maximum time is spent with the family as the dependence on uh, family is high during the early age we know that our values shape our decisions and our decisions shape our life therefore family plays an important role in shaping our lives even now we can uh, see the importance of family in life a family is a unit of parents and the children social standards and custom defined by fa family provides the emotional and physical basic basis of child value developed by family are uh, foundation for how children learn grow and function in the world this believes transit the way of life a child lives and changes in uh, individual in society this values and moral guides the individual every time in his action children turn out to be a good person because of his because of the value taught and given by his family members ideas pass down from the generation to generation make up of family values in answer the in answers the basic question of how one want to live with the uh, family life the family value enhances the character and turns the children to be a good human being it teaches the individual how to behave and protect himself uh, to the next uh, younger generation and emotional support at the importance of family values custom and tradition followed and taught by the family leads a disciplined and organized life even we can say that family values helps the children to stand strong on his views despite other efforts to break through with opposing opposing belief in addition we can also that say that beliefs and trust built around family help the children to be responsible and uh, conscientious adults in last we can say that a child has a strong sense of what he what is right and wrong and are less likely to become victims of deviant influences children who are influenced by strong moral values identify them in other quickly uh, which them produce a new generation with the similar beliefs thus fam family is important in developing the moral values of child there is a close contact between the parents and children which determine the personality of child role of society in value inculcation so we can say that how the society will helpful in value inculcation in in his youth or all the peoples living in a society scientific knowledge and advancement of technology have influenced our contemporary society with this advancement society gains material power which may be used for man's welfare for or for or for her. is total destruction so we can see that in western countries as well and uh, western countries just like uh, russia america uh, all these countries have their uh, material power and on that power they are fighting with each other uh, this power is so vast by which man can fulfill their needs reversely man can destroy himself as well as his society as well cause of material development Uh, development society hope that knowledge will be double because whenever the person has their own uh, uh, satisfying needs then it might be possible that with the uh, with the help of this material power the knowledge will be doubled but in some of the cases the things are not working in a proper way this advancement create difficult problems causes of rapid and radical changes of knowledge makes a uncertainty in human thinking in the in this con contact uh, human thinking is being imbalanced which leads crisis in thinking in this respect professor d s kothari said a knowledge based world and the certain measures of unpredictability general of not much avail in dealing with problems and challenges in rapid changing uncertain world every society its own rules uh, customs language 
and religion which is based on some social ideals and this ideal is nothing but a value as modern ideal more powerful than the old ideal and modern culture occupies a new place of old culture so every society has their own customs language religions on the basis of that the society decide some good values and some bad values so that particular society's people have to follow their own rules and customs so nowadays we can see that there is a old culture and new culture existing so the new culture is not ready to accept the values inculcated or the which is pre prevailing in the existing society by the old people so everywhere there, there might be conflict is going on between the old culture and new culture but later on the new culture uh, take place uh, against the old culture as a result we can say that social agency social institution could not keep control and balance over the society this is why society lost her stability gradually the new material change in running fast where the old culture cannot uh, coexist with the new advancement so there is made a silent gap sociologists call it social culture crisis different types of uh, crisis are seen in the modern society cause of environmental degradation multicultural conflict misuse of science and technology inequality of uh, uh, ill effects of multimedia globalization commercialization immigration migration uh, industrialization etc multicultural multi religion multilingual factors uh, creating conflicts as a result men are res rejecting their own culture values ideas which promote crisis society is formed by group of people who need not essentially be tied up by any blood relation but it is also a fact that every group of people form anywhere can be called a society in order to form a society some common cause or ideology or goal have to be set by union of people involved like for like for example people sitting in a movie theater are also a collection of people who are watching the same movie at the same time where by meaning they have the same motive but we can not call a society but if these people starting interacting with each other many maybe only discussing the movie that they they came to watch then slowly this interaction start forming an opinion about the discussion and hence it started leading to the formation of society in a very broad sense we can say we can conclude that society is an organized group of people who get associated for some specific purpose or tie up on account of some common interest so we can say that a uh, number of societal groups are there those are meet together to welfare of particular group they have common interest they have common goal they have common motive to help or to uh, upgrade that particular group of the people so uh, we can say that this, this process uh, in each and every society this process will uh, gradually increased and this society will create some rules uh, and regulation for conducting in particular way we can also say that in some cases this group of people start developing similar living style start following similar rituals start developing some unique culture and beliefs and also start interacting in particular language and adapting dressing up in a typical manner so you can see that number of things are here similar rituals are there so whatever the functions have been uh, going on any religion function functions or any other uh, political or any uh, functions they have similar rituals unique culture belief what what they are believing and also starting interacting in a particular language so language is there so similar language is formed they develop and adapt dressing pattern as well so you can see that a number of uh, number of communities are there in gujarat as well 
and in India as well. So they have a typical uh, manner of dressing as well. Just take the uh, Maharashtra. They have a hat, uh, typical dressing. And while talking about typical dressing, they have a hat on their uh, head. In the same way, Rajasthan, you can say that Pagri is there on their uh, head. So in the same way, particular dressing pattern is also there in a uniform society. Then they develop their unique identity and start getting known by this identity. In this type of organization then form society, which in some typical cases can be termed as a communities. Anyways, for us here, the only concern is that society is a group of people with some similarities who get collected and or some reasons which may be known uh, to them or may not know known to them now what what is the impact of society on individual or in inculcating values so when a child comes in a world he has already stepped into the society his family school college etc are all in a miniature part of the society in which he gets up a secure platform to gain knowledge a lot of knowledge which he uses further for his professional success therefore the moral training obtained at this level finally becomes the fruitful only when he enters into the open world when he complete his education and jump into the professional world where he has to usually go through the uh, tough process of creating his own identity and making a prosperous futures here he is subjected to rest real taste of what he is capable of which is the outcome of his basic education so what we can say that number of times the family is overprotected to the child the society is overprotected to child and this child when completed his education at the time when he jumped into the into the professional world or, or in the real life, uh, real social, uh, social life, uh, he might be not cope up to the society. At that time, number of problems are increased to that particular man. Uh, so uh, society has to work in such a way that all the values uh, will be inculcated in his uh, education or in his uh, childhood itself. We know that knowledge blended with a value is actually education without value simple academic knowledge does not allow any person to make distinguish in a, in any field point is that since birth a child is in, in a society it's only that in his early age he is in a safe and pampered environment and in his later age he is into the open competitive world so constantly uh, in his run collaboration with the society the process of learning through the society goes on uh, throughout his lifespan the only difference in the later age is that he learns more through his own first hand practical experiences and observation which he gets in family and later on in society because after school or, or, or after uh, educational hours he mostly lives in families and society and most of the part he encountered number of experiences in social gatherings social marriage social uh, uh, any other functions so this is the basic or practical experiences he gets uh, from the society he gets to understand the relevance of value learned in the past by practicing them in the society he learns to deal with the extent of being rigid about his values and beliefs only when he understands the consequences of his action based on them. Like for example, we are taught to be passionate about our goals. It is good, but practically sometimes we came across critical situation where we need to be more considerate towards others need and then being passionate about our own personal achievement. So society teaches that how to behave in society. What is the uh, what is the priority for him uh, for one oneself or to others as well. So this is the uh, thing which society teach to the uh, individuals. So 
we may have to decide to sacrifice our personal or ambitions uh, for social cause. Society put us on taste for every act of our ours because every act of our affects at at least few people near us. So value learned and practiced in society are always for a cause which is beyond the personal. Hence, in our social system, the person learns to think from for a larger goal. The stories of great reformers of past highlights that their personal values were subject to public interest to such an extent that they had to sacrifice their lives and their families for public causes. So we have a number of uh, great reformers with us, Raja Ram Mohan Rao and, and so on. Number of reformers are there and they have sacrificed their life for the public interest. They never think about their own life. Such people actually make a difference in the society. It is also found that people coming from various society have a lot of difference because they have their own rituals, their customs, their uh, lifestyle, uh, their language, uh, their dressing patterns, everything different. But those from similar society have noted noticeable similarities. So those who are coming from same society have their own uh, their similarity as well. Hence, it is evidence that society plays an important role in shaping a person's mind and adding values to his belief. Now, we will discuss little uh, uh, some of the values, list of values learned from the society. So first of, all, first of all is respect. The importance of respecting every individual is well reflected while moving in a society. At homes, we, as well as in the institution, we all, almost are forcefully made to respect each other. But in society, person realizes the value of respecting others and also experiencing the consequence of not, not respecting as well. So uh, this is the basic value we learned from the family and then later on we will practice this value in society as well. Second one is social discipline. Social discipline is well learned only while moving in a society. In family, we are generally we are living in a relaxed uh, atmosphere but when we enter we keep out our uh, leg uh, from the family uh, from the house or home then we have to follow some social disciplines only then a person learn uh, the relevant uh, of practicing certain va social values and civic norms like helping the unknowns following the traffic rules maintaining public hygiene etc so this is the social discipline which we have to follow while we are in a society. Number of times people uh, scold uh, other person uh, by not following the social discipline. Third one is prob probity. The importance of probity is well or, uh, realized when we work in a society. We learn to do things with more and wider responsibilities. Probity gets tested usually when a person is under some type of pressure like a peer pressure, professional pressure, etc. This, hence, the society is the best place for learning and developing this property. So people has to uh, realize or he has to understand the pressure by peers and professional uh, personal. And then he has to maintain uh, his mind cool while living in a society. And this is the place where uh, the society teach us how to live in a, a group. Fourth one is team building. All the work done in a society are based on the coordination and cooperation because only the then larger uh, then personal motives can be satisfied. Hence, these values are essentially inculcated by the society in individual because uh, in number of times the person is uh, engaged in so social gathering at that time they have to work in a group and they have to complete the marriage uh, marriage or any other uh, uh, program uh, organized by the society so team building kind of uh, values will be uh, developed by the society gratitude thankfulness towards the favors and our uh, belonging belonging automatically come automatically comes from dealing effectively in society without gratitude uh, one can never attend the science of responsibility 
sixth one is generosity this value is also well appreciated in society and the pay off for it are usually very applicable generosity help a person directly to make an instinct impression in the hearts and mind of larger group of people so we can see that number of times uh, this gratitude or generosity uh, we can observe in the society and people uh, get favored or people uh, take opportunity to become a uh, to uh, thankful or uh, have a generosity for the larger group of the community <coughs> sorry we can also say that when the society comes in a crisis or any um, any uh, any unwanted incident happen in a society at the time some of the people come uh, come in front and try to get generous or uh, help the society or person directly or indirectly and uh, try to uh, get the attention of the society as well seventh one is honesty honesty is the gesture which is always uh, always acknowledged sooner or later honesty is a personal value as well as the societal level gives the reflection uh, to transparency in attitude and such people automatically become more believable uh, than the others in bureaucratic world impression plays a vital role honesty is that value which help in creating positive image society always add to the level of honesty learn at home and in institution as well confidence is the next point confidence uh, society help a lot in boosting our confidence it is usually that the suggestion and applaud received from the people beyond the re relation encourage the confidence of a person to extend that even if he is not being paid for a job yet he gets motivated to continuously perform the fruitfully so this kind of uh, values can be inculcated by the society in building up the confidence because uh, society is a place where uh, near near ones are there and they try to uh, develop the confidence in younger gen younger generation uh, people or person valuing others opinions people are living in a society and they have uh, means they have to work in a group at that time valuing others opinions is also important there is a difference in valuing others opinions and obedience obedience does not give any chance of presenting one's own opinion whereas living and working in a particular society setup provides lot of opportunity of collaboration and coordination during which one realizes that the collective opinions usually sum up to a better decision that's why any incidents or any program being organized by the society before that the person who are working for that program they have their meetings they have sharing experiences they decide the plans everything so at that time person has to value the other opinion as well and this kind of value is inculcated by the society by organizing different programs in the same connection the next point is tolerance when you are uh valuing others opinions at that time sometimes uh, you have to build up the tolerance values uh, as well for e effective collaboration of all the individual mutually tolerance is most essential since society consists uh, of variety of people involved in it hence the society and its activities are the best source of teaching and practicing the tolerance this is very much needed for maintaining harmony and peace successful in implementation of various public policies are possibly possible only when the tolerance is consistently practiced by the all the people all the group members it is the key value required for maintaining the unity in diversity secularism countries speaking like india are a perfect blend of various society which carry on their own beliefs tradition and cultures and still respect mutual identities hence secularism uh, secularism is the best learn uh, from this society when it comes to patriotism or national integrity 
secularism is the best practice beyond every personal interest. Next one is non-violence. Self-control and tolerance are also the key of non-violence. Only in a social, uh, social setup, individual re realize the importance of non-violence. Non-discrimination and non-violence are extremely needed to maintain peace and harmony in society. High moral values are required to maintain non-violence at every level. <clears throat> but indeed, this is one of the most required value for effective progress of every nation. Let's sum up, we can say that uh, with realization that society is continuously source of inculcating values in every individual, as it is called said, the man is a social animal. Hence, this process is not identically noticed, but it carries through on throughout. In sum up, sum up, we can say that an ideal society gives open opportunity to every individual to grow physically, intellectually, and morally. Even it gives opportunity to explore the potentials as an individual because it, it is the ground or it is a place where individual gets opportunity to uh, perform his own potentials. Even we can say that to save the attitudes, belief, and moral and ideals, this is the place where best person can uh, save his all these things. Even society gives opportunity to develop the value of hard working, honesty, tolerance, national integration, secularization, and beautifulness. Even it gives uh, opportunity to discard negative values, diet drawry, casteism, communalism, alcohol, drugs, everything. Because every society has their own uh, rules and regulations where they are not allowed or they are trying to minimize this kind of things because some of the ill practices is going on in number of society but as the time passes uh, we can see that gradual changes in the so uh, uh, in uh, removing this kind of negative values like drawry casteism communalism alcohol drugs everything even society gives this uh, regards social tension unrest prejudice etc to improve the quality of life to protect the nameless, faceless and voiceless and to ensure justice and equality in the society. And lastly, we can say that to develop discipline as an individual and collectively. So this is the role of society in uh, value inculcation. Role of Educational Institute in inculcating values. Education is considered to be most powerful weapon during the during every era and in every society. Importance for transmission of values and should not violate the freedom and autonomy of the learner. Education can pass on refined knowledge at very fast rate. Developing personality, preservation of culture, promotion of social justice, scientific temper, democracy, secularism, etc. can be inculcated by education. Helps in perfect development of reasoning, control impulses, focus towards the goal, promoting value of human excellence, etc. can be inculcated by the school or colleges. So we can say that the role of institution and its ideology creates the main difference in uh, inculcating value. Now, what is the importance of educational institution? These days, when the joint family structure is almost abolished, especially in the urban area, the role of education institution is being more and more important day by day in the development of the child. The professionally inspired lifestyle of parents does not give them the liberty to devote unlimited and unbiased time to the children. Even we can say that nowadays joint family structure is demolished and 
people are living in nuclear family and when we are talking about the nuclear family in nuclear family mother and father that means husband and wife both are working parents so they are not able to give the proper time to the child for inculcating value uh, in their child even quality time is not spent by the children they are left on the caretakers or uh, maids at home as a result at home children are spending effectively more time with caretakers who are as much as such not very literate enough to teach and meet every requirement of child at times maybe the physical needs of the child are still met but mental growth requires are definitely not justified an easy professional solution to this is to new concept of preschooling these are the basically the baby care center where the child child is along with uh, very um, with few more of his type and collective care is taken here the security becomes the major issue than teaching values coming to a bit elder age group we find the educational institution broadly have two big arenas of responsibility that is academic development and value development academic development has no meaning if the value development has not taken place adding values provide us the liberty to use academic status for the wider status therefore it is important for every individual to realize the importance of value education to his decision schooling provides the first general platform every child to check or develop an outlook about what is learned at home and also experience its repercussion here mostly the child realizes that the blind adherence to certain fixed set of value throughout as experienced by them in family may be the blunder they get a safe place to test the practical ability of what they learned at home also they get to know teachers who becomes their moral ideals when we talk to small kids we see that they usually do not listen to the parents however educated parents may be but the for a child a teacher is the ideal ideal he will always follow whatever is taught by the teacher hence the role of teachers is very sensitive in value inculcation even the great chanakya said the rise or fall of any nation is decided in the laps of its teacher parents become uh, parenting become difficult without the help of ed educational institution now value learned through various subjects we are teaching different different subjects in school but each and every subjects has their own uh, role in value inculcation even we can find by many example that subject knowledge also has a huge impact when the taught by attending values to it they then have longer relativity in our minds let us discuss some sub different subjects and which are helpful in value inculcation first one is history while studying history we automatically talk about the value and the ethos ethics followed by the great personalities and rulers in the past we learn about the sacrifices and achievement for the cause which are beyond personal we analyze their actions and achievement on the basis of their bravery richness uniform decision making skill generosity and consistency we also analyze the mistakes made in the past and get alert towards them so we have different uh, historians and we have different uh, personalities in past from whom we are learning just take example of mahatma gandhi uh, mahatma gandhi is a advocate by profession but he left his profession he left all the luxuries uh, whatever uh, he was to supposed to get and he started working for nation he gives so many sacrifices so from this kind of stories there are number of others uh, other personalities are there in past our freedom fighters our social reformers so number of persons are there those who have left their homes those who have uh, give all the 
luxuries of their life to the uh, for the sake of society so from this example students can learn about learn uh, the values of sacrifice values uh, or patriotism or number of other uh, qualities they, they can learn from this kind of personality second one is geography we learn about the vast structure of various uh, places and uh, the get the idea of similarities and variation among uh, different geographical location or mind get set towards the unity in diversity in the same way sociology is also very much important through this subject we can learn the limitless impact of value on on then uh, social status for example while studying about the campaigns against the child marriage dowry system sati pratha etc and those kind of those kind uh, those like dandi march non cooperation movement we realize that all these leaders of past who had stood firmly for this causes were people of high moral standards their empathy their vision their sentiments were generous to the extent of sacrificing on the personal and family grounds for changing the entire society system based on certain beliefs indeed this type of studies incorporate us with the values like truth non violence cooperation coordination will power uh, bravery sacrifice etc in the same way while, while we are studying science unfortunately this subject adds logic to every content we learn to be more systematic and analytic about the facts it also helps in developing a positive attitude towards the observing and planning same way commerce the del delicacy about the financial management in the depth is learned by learning this subject value for money and vision towards not wasting money and resources is clearly understood by commerce mathematics this subject not only increase our uh, calculative approach but also in hidden, uh, hidden manner makes us realize that even a small mistake can create a big problems for us it leads us towards the perfection in this manner value when we add it to knowledge they help in three folds it preserving previous knowledge upgrading it and then effectively applying in future as well now we will talk about few values which are very essential uh, to be taught by educational institution first one is cooperation make the individual understand the cooperation is very important uh, than operation okay second one is consideration for common goals institution are the first uh, social place visited by children after coming out of home where they are usually pampered for their demands hence they have to talk uh, to think beyond the selfishness and that is done in this institution because uh, we can say that number of uh, activities uh, have been carried out by different educational institution and for that we have to work for common goals Uh, uh some of the schools or colleges have created different uh, groups of their uh, schools and, uh, just take a example of uh, when i was studying we have a subhas group sardar group nehru group so this kind of group uh, has been cre created by the school authorities and we have to work for common goals of that group particular task was given to the to us for achieving something so uh, though for Uh, achieving those tasks uh, successfully we have a common goals and in institution number of this kind of values uh, have been taught through different different activities next one is duty consciousness sense of responsibility towards the duty is the first learned in a school because some of the schools are giving them particular task uh, to uh, which have to be completed now we have a project method in teaching learning process so for pro, for completing project also we have our own duty to complete some of the task in a group or particular so they develop vision towards the difference between right and wrong duties the role and responsibility to perform different duties fourth one is honesty the delicacy of handling honesty as well as the diplomacy is effectively done with the various institutional practice experiences in institution integrity integrity 
without knowledge is weak but the knowledge without the integrity is dangerous mentality of adopting double standard is discouraged in institution therefore encouraging in integrity discipline definitely is very important in school the initial level of social discipline is taught in school while self discipline learned at home is extremely practiced in educational institution so some of the students are not not cope up to maintain the discipline in school because they are very relaxed or the very free uh, atmosphere uh, have been provided to them in their families so they are trying to uh, cope up uh, in school with different uh, issues of uh, discipline accountability and truthfulness every child should be taught to be accountable for their acts they should uh, be given an atmosphere where they become fearless about accepting the faults this generates boldness in them and their belief in being true also increase appreciation the child should learn to handle the appreciation as well as the appreciate others as well healthy competition should be encouraged and it should be taught that success is not just winning or being uh, above others valuing time is also very much important this is again very important aspect required for personal as well as professional ground managing focus is also possible when we learn to manage time and manage time is only possible when we learn to value it tenth one is self control it is important to learn control emotions angers uh, and so on number of emotions uh, and avoid the extremes of sentiments for wider benefits institutional di discipline uh, teaches physical and mental control effectively in schools gender sensitivity although the first lesson of the behavior with similar as well as positive gender is learned at home yet in context of nuclear families school provides the best ground for learn learning in it proper practice practical manner by also providing a secure secure a social platform uh, to them for experiencing the consequences of their behavior in the real world last one is patient and tolerance there is also integral values which are taught by real life situation in the institution now what is the role of teacher the personality and the value system of teacher affected the minds and heart of students to develop civic uh, consciousness patriotism and uh, discipline among the students uh, is also the role of teacher when we are talking about the higher education institution the teacher is the central figure in whom the university sees its past glory and around him it builds its future dignity teacher must be constant in learning researching criticizing to inculcate a balanced view in students commitment to the society to the profession to achieve excellence and to basic human values like impartiality objectivity and intellectual integrity etc may be taught by the teacher so in finally we can say that the role of teacher Uh, in inculcating value is very much important through educational institution because any educational institution uh, institution is uh, based on their teachers and however the teachers are working means how they are trying to inculcate these different values through different activities that is very much important uh, for all the educational institution so in end we can say that value inculcation ends with this session are you agree no value inculcation is a lifelong twist we have to always try to learn different different value throughout our life it is not time bound uh, time bound affair it is not time bound activity it is a continuous process till the end of life so this lesson and session led has led a path a path to happiness peace and success namaskar thank you